I welcome all of you to this session. In this session, our discussion is going to be on provisions of alternate minimum tax of section 115 JC. This is the last thing we are going to do in this tax Navratri session, and after this, this sessions will get over. Thank you so much for overwhelming response. And after this session, please do let me know your feedback and how you are feeling after these nine nights of rigorous tax that we have done. Do surely let me know, and I will wish you all the best for your exams. Why I am telling you all these things because post this sum, we will just end the sessions. So let's start now. Yes, this nine days were very, very quick. Same thing happened for me. Were very quick for me as well. Enjoyed it thoroughly. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, friends, alternate minimum tax means what? It means that individual HUF firm means any non-corporate assets. Okay, because corporate assets have to pay something called as minimum alternate tax. so they have to pay normal tax or mat whichever is higher so what government says that assessees take extraordinary benefit of some provisions which government only has set so government now says that assessees are taking extraordinary benefit of few provisions and declaring very less total income so very less taxable income consequently very less tax so government says why not we disallow those deductions which we have given to them and check what was their total income and on that calculate tax at a lesser percentage and ask assessees to at least pay that now what is the word i used at least pay that so in company's case it is mat and that mat is at 15% of book profits but in non corporate assessees cases it is amt alternate minimum tax so that's why for whom is amt applicable amt is applicable to any non corporate assessee okay but it is applicable to individuals huf also but that individual huf adjusted total income should exceed 20 lakhs okay so i will give you two to three instances will it be applicable for firm yes irrespective of adjusted total income will it be applicable for companies no for companies mat will it be applicable for such individual whose adjusted total income is 22 lakhs yes because it exceeds 20 lakhs will it be applicable for such individuals whose adjusted total income is 1515 15 lakhs no okay so this is about its applicability when we discuss about its applicability now we should discuss how exactly should we calculate tax liability considering amt provisions to tell you objectively when to apply amt provisions in these cases when that individual or huf or firm or llp has taken some extraordinary deduction which extraordinary deduction 35 ad 10 a means scz wala or 80 ia to 80 rb from or some from this some of this or deductions or more are taken then you should apply this provision and check what should be your tax liability what you will do you will first calculate total income as per normal provisions of the act total income means taxable income you will calculate tax on that as per normal provisions third step is most critical you will calculate adjusted total income how will you calculate adjusted total income whatever is your total income add in that deductions that you have claimed total income nikalte waqt deduction ko minus kiya hai na please add it back 
means you add back 35 AD, add back 10 double A, add back 80 IA to 80 double R B. Okay, but one thing you have to minus. गवर्नमेंट का मूड नहीं था एक्चुअली माइनस कुछ देने का आपको बट बट सिंस दे आर आस्किंग यू टू एड बैक एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी डिडक्शन ऑफ 35 फाइव ए डी दे विल अलाउ यू डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन द एसेट्स इन स्पेसिफाइड बिजनेस मीन्स इफ एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी दे आर डिस अलाउिंग एटलीस्ट ऑर्डिनरी दे शुड अलाउ मीन्स थर्टी फाइव ए डी यू नो वॉट इट इज ऑन Capital expenditure on building, plant and machine, etc., etc. You can claim deduction of hundred percent. So I will tell you one thing: if yours is a specified business and eighty lakh rupees you have invested in a building, eighty lakhs. So you claimed full deduction of eighty lakhs because you claimed thirty five AD. Isn't it, Kashish? You are getting it now. You claim deduction of full eighty lakhs because you are claiming thirty five AD, but Darshan, they are asking you to add back eighty lakhs. So they should allow you at least normal depreciation. That normal depreciation they will allow you to minus. नहीं समझा कशिश? So eighty lakhs you will add and say eight lakhs of normal depreciation you will minus. and now what figure you will get will be called as adjusted total income yes understood wonderful now on this adjusted total income calculate amt at 18.5% plus surcharge if applicable plus health and education sir now friends you have got two taxes normal tax and amt which one should you pay you should pay whichever is higher in case you end up paying amt government says kuch tension mat lo if you are paying amt then that extra tax which you have paid over and above normal tax that will be carried forward in future as amt credit got it all of you yes to ab right now we will see that 11th question from ici material in total income questions i have sent it also to you so just check that question okay it's a very wonderful question i have sent it to you in class discussions dekho check इलेवेंथ क्वेश्चन एज आई टोल्ड यू कि वो इलेवेंथ क्वेश्चन है राइट चेक वेरी वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन ओके आइडियल क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस इशू मिस्टर एक्स एन इंडिविजुअल सेटअप अ यूनिट इन एस इज हेड इन फिनेंशियल इयर सेवनटीन एटीन फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वॉशिंग मशीन यूनिट फुलफिल्स ऑल कंडीशन ऑफ टेन डबल ए of income tax act during fy 2021 he also set up warehousing facility in district of tamil nadu for storage of agricultural produce it fulfills all conditions of 35 ad so friends in one sum in single case you have got two deduction one is of 35 ad another is of Ten double A. Okay, capex, capital expenditure in respect of warehouse amounted to seventy five lakhs, but in seventy five lakhs, cost of land is ten lakhs. So how much deduction can you claim while calculating PGBP under section thirty five AD? You cannot claim on land, so you can claim. Sixty-five lakh rupees. Okay, seventy-five lakhs minus ten lakh. Warehouse became operational with effect from first April twenty-one, and expense of seventy-five lakhs was capitalized in the books on that date. Other relevant details are as follows. 
profit of a unit located in special economic zone is 40 lakhs you know what happens not entire profit of acz gets exempted that profit of acz gets exempted mind you which to the extent it relates to exports utna exempt hota hai proportional basis pe if it's the first 5 years of acz 100% of profits relatable to export get exempted if it is next 5 years 50% now here unit was set up in 1718 means we are within first 5 years you have got 40 lakh rupees profit but export sales are 80 lakhs domestic sales are 20 lakhs so friends how much should be exempted take on your calci 40 lakhs into 8 by 10 how did you get 8 by 10 80 lakhs is export sales total 1 crore is total 1 80 plus 20 1 crore is total sales so mind you friends 40 lakh was profit for 1 crore so how much is profit for 80 lakh that's why 40 lakhs into 80 lakhs upon 1 crore okay so did you get 32 lakhs friends 32 lakhs will be exempted under section 10 aa please exempt it so how much will become taxable for that uh, acz business 8 lakhs and now a small formality is pending profit from operating of warehousing facility before deduction of 35 ad is 1 crore 5 lakhs please take deduction of 35 ad 65 lakhs so 1 crore 5 lakhs minus 65 lakhs how much you are getting are you getting 40 lakhs so friends what's your final pgbp in this case as per normal provisions of the act so your pgbp slash total income as per normal provisions of the act is 48 lakhs do you agree yes how 48 lakhs 8 lakh of that acz business 40 lakhs of specified business so believe me or not 48 lakhs becomes your first steps answer check 48 lakhs becomes your first steps answer i should not explain you how to calculate tax liability on 48 lakhs as per normal provision it's individual assessee calculate as per slabs okay so you can do that afterwards it works out to 12 lakh 52500 health and education says on that works out to 50100 and final tax liability in step 2 works out to 13 lakh 2600 did you understand till this point friends now what is your total income what's your total income we are moving towards third step now total income is 48 lakhs in 48 lakhs please add back 30 uh, sorry 10 double a deduction 10 double a deduction was 32 lakhs please add that 32 lakhs and friends also add 65 lakhs 35 ad deduction so what is 48 plus 32 plus 65 whatever it is from that minus depreciation on building you know building carries 10% depreciation rate so on 65 lakhs calculate 10% and minus it and what figure you get now is called as adjusted total income it is so simple 
Did you all get adjusted total income? On your CALC, you check. What will you do on your CALC? Yes, 48 lakhs plus 32 lakhs plus 65 lakhs minus 6 lakh 50 thousand. That's it. Whatever answer you have got on that, calculate tax at 18.5 percent. That is AMT. But obviously, as you can see, adjusted total income is exceeding 1 crore. So there will be surcharge. You know there will be surcharge at 15 percent. So calculate that surcharge, calculate health and education sales, calculate final tax liability. Did you all understand? Chaitanya, did you understand? Who else is there? Aditya is there. Aditya, did you understand? Nikhil, did you understand? And all my audience watching on YouTube, did you understand? Chalo. So I hope you understood. Now friends, which tax liability will you pay? You will pay normal tax or this AMT, whichever is higher. So you are paying 30 lakh 64,450. Yes. So government says we are asking you to pay a higher tax than as per normal provisions. So we will give you in future set off of this tax from normal tax payable so how much amount is allowed to be carried forward so 30 lakh 64,450 minus 13 lakh 2,600 this is allowed to be carried forward check it will be written somewhere how much you are allowed to be carried forward? Did you all understand the issue? For how many years it can be carried forward? This 17,61,850. This 17,61,850 can be carried forward for subsequent 1, 5, 15 years. And it will be utilized in that financial year in which normal tax payable is higher than AMT okay so friends I really hope that you have understood this concept if there is any doubt or if there are such critical concepts that you want to understand please do put it in the comment box I will be more than happy to make video on such issues so thank you very much for joining in I will see you in next video